Hi there, this is Amanda Frankel with our Crafty Playdate and I want to make a card for you today that would be appropriate for just about any man in your life. Um, you could do this for a Father's Day or this would be a great birthday too. And it's so, so easy, this format. Once you've got this mastered, you can do all kinds of things. Look at this, this is the exact same card, only stepped up a little bit and changed. So the difference, as you can see, I have embossed here. So I did it with that basket weave folder. This is the fruit. I did a little punch art to the fruit. It comes with two little punches, the punch pack, and I made little strawberries out of it. Um, same punch, right, that did this side, this uh, shape here, and I added a little ribbon. So it is a stepped up version of the same card, but probably man likes a little more simple anyway. So I'm gonna teach you how to do this today. And then we might play with this in a future video. Um, both of these things are retiring. This punch is going to stay in the next catalog, this uh, shape here. But this stamp set, this paper, this stamp set, these punches, and this paper, all retiring. The ribbon will still be around. So if you want any of this stuff, you need to get your hands on it pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to list all of the things that I used in this card in the details and I will actually list what I used in the fruit card in the description below the video so that you can uh, check that out if that's something that you like too. But in the meantime, let's get you learning how to do this one. All right, so, well actually I'll leave it in, in the screen so you can kind of see. Let's work on our panel first. So I'm a big panel person. I like to do it in pieces and then add it to bigger panels. So let's get started. Um, I am using today Night of Navy and Tranquil Tide and Very Vanilla. And the way that I knew to use these colors was actually just to grab the pack of Designer Series paper and look at the back because we actually list the colors used in this pack of paper on the back of, of each um, pack of paper. So anyway, um, this is the paper that I used and you can see it's got a lot of fun colors and textures. I think I'm going to be happy using this paper for years to come because it's just got so much fun uh, imagery on it. And if you're not super into the whole masculine thing, the back of this is great. You're going to be able to use this for a lot of different things. So even if you're not into the kind of novelty stuff, I personally am a big fan of the plaid. All right. So in the meantime, I just wanted to show you here. I just punched a bunch of punches out and then started playing with them. And so this is what I came up with. Let's see if I've got all of them here when I lay it out. Um, all right, so what I did was with this shape that I punched, a couple of them, let me see if I can get a more solid. No, I think I've cut all my solids. Um, I've cut a couple of them right down the center. So if you look at this, you can see that I cut it right down the center here. And that gives me my bases here. Um, Cutting it at the center also gives me a place to kind of position them where they're standing uh, right against the edge of the paper. And that will help me when I go to line up my next piece because this flat edge here will be right along the edge of the paper too. So let's see if I have a glue here that actually has any glue left in it. I have been crafting, ooh, not that one. I have been crafting like a crazy person lately, trying to get ready. Um, to, for a couple of classes that I have coming up that I'm super excited about. Uh, and so I'm trying to get these things stockpiled. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this because I know pretty much where it's going to be. I'm not going to put glue down on that very bottom corner because that actually is going to hang off just a hair. Um, you'll see here. Okay, so I'm putting it right up against that corner as you can see there. Good, and now I'm gonna glue this one. And you you can do this with any paper. Um, you know, I showed you the basket uh, weaving. I'm just gonna talk while I'm assembling here so you can kind of see how easy, easy this is to do. Uh, but I showed you the embossing on that basket one with the little fruit, and I will tell you, um, that would be so cute. We have a quilt folder, as you guys know, if you if you follow me normally on YouTube. I don't have any quilt videos, but I am also a quilter. And so I was super excited last Christmas when we had the quilting bundle. 
uh, of papers and uh, designs and I loved loved the quilting embossing folder and then it got carried over and I was so excited to see that um, let me see that this top corner is gonna stick off here right no this top corner is gonna stick off so I'm gonna hold it with my thumb so I don't put glue on it if I put glue on it no big deal I'm just gonna cut it off at the end anyway but why torture my scissors like that by the way, if you ever get glue on your scissors, um, you can just use a glue eraser and just slide it across and it will take that glue right off. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry for just a second while I assemble these other parts. Okay, I was telling you. So we have, um, I'm gonna put the measurements for this on the screen here while I'm talking so that you can see what I'm doing. This is only a hair, hair, hair smaller than the normal um, blue here and it is actually just a hair bigger than this this is a standard panel and the blue is a standard card base and this secondary panel of the green is the tranquil tide here is just a tiny bit uh, bigger than the normal panel okay so that is going to be set I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to cut this off Look how beautiful that is. It's so easy just with a little snip snip. It's not perfectly even as you can see, but who is going to notice that, right? Okay, and now before I glue that on, look, this card is really almost done. Um, but what I was telling you anyway, with the quilting, it would be adorable to put this on and then actually run it through your Big Shot afterward, after you've glued the pieces on and quilt it in. Maybe I'll make a video for that for, for you too. In the meantime, let's see here. Where is my stamp for that? I thought I got it out, but maybe I didn't. Oh, I did. Of course I did. I am getting ready for a class, and we're going to make this in our class. And I, so I've been gathering stuff. You cannot even imagine the craziness of my studio. I ought to pan out and show you everything. Um, I am using Tranquil Tide ink. This is one of the in colors that will be retiring. If you don't have the ink and such now, you are gonna wanna get it along with the refill because it is gonna be going away and you will never be able to get it. All right, and I am just gonna stamp down. One, two, three, lift. Great, done. I'm gonna close that because I think I already, I did, I put my finger right in it for you. Um, anyway, I might make a video and quilt that right in and show you because this does look like it could be a quilt pattern too to me. To my discerning quilter eyes. So, hey, you know what? Is anybody else out there a quilter? I wonder if this is a good overlap. I think this probably is a really strong overlap for people who are quilters and paper crafters. Maybe we're all just crafters all together. All right, so this I'm centering more on the blue than on the green. As you can see, there's really just a hair of green that goes around the edge. And I'm just doing that for just a little extra color, just a tiny bit. And then inside, of course, I'm gonna put a vanilla panel so that we can write lots of wonderful things to dad or husband for birthday, Father's Day, or whatever other occasion we may have. That is all I've got for you today. If you see anything here you love and you need, as I said, some of it is retiring, please visit my online store. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be yours, and I would love to get you your very own copy of our brand new catalog. And, um, and you can check out and see what we've got right now. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye-bye.